This is Penny Mordaunt's moment. From the sidelines to the centre of British politics. The junior trade minister, currently second in the Conservative leadership race, topping polls of party members, a surprise frontrunner to be the next Prime Minister. This referendum is about you, the British people, taking back control. Her vote leave credentials, winning support from Brexiteers. Her military background also giving her an advantage. But her supporters say it's her personal qualities and struggles that have propelled her to the top. She grew up in Hampshire. Her mum died when she was 15 years old and Penny took over the role of bringing up her younger brother, supported herself through college and everything, everything that Penny's achieved, she's done it through her own hard work. Showing early on a desire to make an impact as an MP, she appeared on celebrity diving show Splash. Briefly the first female Defence Secretary, she was sacked by Boris Johnson, revenge for backing his rival Jeremy Hunt in the 2019 Conservative leadership race. And the Prime Minister, not her only critic, Lord Frost, her former boss through Brexit negotiations, said she was so incompetent he had her moved to another department, a view seized on by rival camps in the race. And I think we have to listen to uh, what he's saying, because in the end, this is about choosing not just the next leader of the Conservative Party, but our next Prime Minister. And it is telling, I think, where current members of the government are placing their support. And uh, I think, you know, that is... Uh, reflected in Davis' comments, but also reflected in a number of very senior ministers' decisions about who to support in this race. They are not backing Ms Morgan. She's also been criticised by opponents for being too woke on trans rights, accused of not defending biological women in legislation when she was Equalities Minister. Away from Westminster in Penny Mordaunt's hometown of Portsmouth, where she was inspired to serve in the Navy and is now the area's MP. What do people here make of her rise? She's young, ambitious. Um, she says it as it is, basically. Uh, I think it's a positive. People want a clean break. Maybe we do need someone who's completely new and fresh face. A political journey from the coast to the corridors of power. Taking out more established rivals, can she fight her way to the top? Liz Bates.